माई नेम इज़ वर्षा जनयानी वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ ट्रिपल एस आई वे लर्निंग नेवर स्टॉप्स सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद अ सीरीज ऑन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट वी विल बी कवरिंग द बेसिक्स टुडे एंड इन द अपकमिंग वीडियोज वी विल कवर सर्टन इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट सो इफ यू आर सम वन इज लुकिंग फॉर एन ईजी येट इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन द टॉपिक कीप वॉचिंग so today we will be discussing the meaning of financial management and three important decisions that a firm has to undertake under financial management financial management means planning organizing directing and controlling the financial activities of the enterprise like procurement and utilization of funds it means applying general management concepts to the financial activities of the firm simply put finance means everything that is related to funds or money so everything that is related to funds or money comes under the ambit of finance finance is also known as the life blood of business because it is as important as blood is to our body or it is as important as oil is for the functioning of a machinery finance is very crucial for the survival and the growth of any enterprise big or small and we all know that management means ensuring effectiveness and efficiency in every task or activity it means planning organizing directing and controlling any task or activity at hand in order to understand financial management better let's take an example from our everyday lives take an example of a household every household requires money usually there is a fixed source of money and the house is to survive on that money for the entire month why is that money required there could be plenty of reasons reasons food electricity fuel tuition etc so in order to the best possible way usually a stipulated amount is to be kept aside for these expenses and certain contingencies that may occur also an amount has to be kept aside for future savings so this was a basic example of financial management being practiced in our life every day now let us talk about the three major decisions that a business has to take under financial management these three decisions are finance decisions investment decisions and dividend decisions we will discuss each of these in detail let's start with finance decisions every business requires funds maybe for acquiring fixed assets such as land plant and machinery or for meeting day to day expenses like warehousing transportation inventory etc funds are required at every step of the way under finance decision a business has to determine the amount of funds it will require and the sources from where these funds are options be. available to the company for raising these funds it can raise money through equity shares preference shares debentures or bank loan it can even use a combination of these sources for example a business is planning to expand its operations and for that it will need to buy new plant and machinery let's assume that will cost $10000 it will also need to rent extra space hire more employees that might cost around $2000 now the total sum of money that is $12000 is determined the next step is to decide the source from where these funds will be raised let's assume that the firm decides that these funds will be raised through issue of equity shares so this is what is to be determined under finance decision it has to determine the source as well as the amount of fund that is required So coming to the next decision that is investment decision investment can be made in fixed assets such as plant land machinery etc or it can be made in current assets usually huge sums of money are involved so the decision has to be taken after careful consideration it has to decide the proportion of funds which will be utilized and invested in various sources coming to the last decision that is dividend decision dividend is the amount that is distributed to the shareholders as a return of their investment it is the proportion of profits that is distributed to the shareholders so the business has to decide what proportion of profits it will give out to the shareholders and what proportion of profits it will retain in the form of retained earnings let's suppose the business makes a profit of $1000 if it decides to give out $800 let's say in the form of dividends then $200 will form the part of their retained earnings Now let us understand these decisions by taking an example. Let's assume a firm name X Y Z. We will discuss the finance decision, investment decision, and dividend decision of this firm. In order to function smoothly, it requires funds. Let us assume that it needs twenty five thousand dollars for its functioning. Once the amount of funds have been funds have been determined, it has to fix the sources from where these funds will be raised. Let us assume that it decides to raise half of it from equity and half of it from debt. This is the finance decision of the firm. Once these funds have been raised, the next step is to decide where they will be invested. 
let's say it decides to invest these funds in acquiring a subsidiary this will be the investment decision of the firm so once these funds have been invested they will yield profit to the firm out of these total profits earned the firm has to decide what portion will be given out to the shareholders what portion will be retained in the form of retained earnings let us assume that it makes $2000 in the form of profits and it, if it decides to give out $1500 in the form of dividends the remaining 500 will be the retained earning for the firm so we are now coming towards the end of the video we have discussed what financial management means, what three major decisions a firm has to take under financial management, investment decision, finance decision and dividend decision. If you have any doubts, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such videos.